Well, how do you there, charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. And as you can see, I'm back inside of Light No Sky. And yeah, my nice little alien critter that I've got here right now. Now, I got given an egg by Daniel Hipley, and it should be ready to hatch. Let's give it a hatch, shall we? Let's see what we get. Oh, it looks like it is a flying creature. Oh, I've got lucky. Hey, get away. Oh, come back here. Oi, you. Oi. Oi. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, great. Looks like I'm going to have to despawn it. It flew away too blinking quickly, didn't it? Hopefully I can ride it. Let's try again. Got him. Okay, right. Gently pat. Give him a treat. There we go. Give him another treat. Uh, pat. Let's ride him. Oh, yes! I have a flying mount. This is freaking groovy! Thank you, Daniel Hipley! Yes, I now have a flying mount. Lovely jubbly. Now, there's a couple of things that I don't have, people inside the viewerverse. And one of the things that I don't have are trees. And I want to be able to plant trees around my base and make a nice little fire forest. You may have noticed this planet, as lush that it is, and as beautiful as it is, and as crazy as the terrain is, we have no ability to create trees. Now, there are, like, big bushes on this planet, but they're not trees. So I'm going to pop up to the Nexus and I'm going to speak to Johnny Five and I'm just going to claim everything that I can that's going to help with cosmetics for my base. And that's the only thing I'm going to do. I did notice that when Professor Cynical was building the other day, he actually has everything. Now, he, he went and saw Johnny Five. He had that little bit of insight. He'd he done that already. So he said it's fine for me and Ricey to do the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to film this anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off my network settings because I don't want anybody up there inside of the Nexus, a space anomaly, to give me anything that I'm not entitled to. So I'm just going to fly up. I'm going to call in the old Nexus. And then I'm, I'm just going to grab what I need. And I'll be coming straight back to the planet, people. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Okay, so let's see if we can call it in now. Where is it? Oh, crap. I haven't even got the ability to summon the Nexus right now because I'm not that far into the story mode. Oh, balls. All right, okay. So I don't know how I don't know how cynical managed to do it. Right, well, I've, I've progressed the story until I can okay, actually So I answered that comms that was coming in. And then I've just warped one time. Let's see if that's all I need to do. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Let's see if that does the trick. No, I still can't get the freaking Nexus to appear. Oh, here we go. What's that? All right, I've got to go to the strangest coordinates, have I? All right, fine. Well, where the fudge are they? Okay, chums. Well, I think you've all done this a billion times. Apart from, you know, it's not bloody working for me at the moment, is it? Nope, it's not. Well, it's, apparently it's there, but it hasn't given me a freaking marker. Okay, well, I'll work this out. Anyway, I'll reconvene when I get to the next. Okay, Jums, I worked out what it was. I had to actually move the actual mission to Awakenings, Hearers and Finders. Okay? And then it puts the actual marker on. It says follow the marker and it doesn't kindly swap you over to the current mission. That's all it was, people. All right, cool. I didn't do anything in the station. I just parked there so I could make a quick save because I had to go and answer the okay, door. and that takes me to a crashed ship. So, here we go. Let's hit this up then. I'm not going to claim cra said crashed ship, you know. Okay, there you go. Done. Open up. Open Sesamoir. I've just stuck it back into creative mode just to move this forwards. Cool. There we are. Done. All right. Um, let's just make sure it hasn't moved me on to any other blinking mission. All right, now I'll go, go back to my ship. Go on, yeah. go back to my ship. I'm, I think I've got to search for clues or something for Artemis around here, so I'm just going to open up this damaged machinery anyway. Go on, I'm gonna give me whatever. Nanites, lovely. Um, I don't know whether you do have to interact with the ship. Let me just check. No, that's fine. Okay, Coolio. And this thing is now done what it needs to do, hasn't it? Yeah, can't interact with it again. Because it just says there, down at the bottom, search for clues here and on other planets. So I thought I'd have a little butchers around. Okay, we've taken off something. and we've got an incoming communique. Oh, here we go. It's Nada. Brilliant. Cool. And I think this is where the actual anomaly appears, isn't it? 
there it is we've got the space anomaly that's all you had to do people just go to the crash ship interact with that washing machine with a red glob in it and then take to the skies and then bob's your uncle fan is your aunt in pops the old nexus so this is a bit that i wanted to record just for prospect prosperity that i didn't do anything that i shouldn't inside of here you know networking's off there's no other multiplayer people in here they can't give me nout which is lovely i mean yes daniel hipley did drop by and give me an egg now what i'm thinking is in my legacy save i also have flying creatures so professor cynical and um rice if you want to hit me up i'll give you a flying creature each here we go then so here we are let's um create items from quicksilver let's go get all the expedition rewards first so there we go. Um, I don't really need all these bits and bobs, do I? Because we're not going to use the ship anyway. The Atlas Scepter. I saw Daniel Hipley had that in his hand, but uh, yeah, I better not use that. Okay, right, so let's get posters, posters, posters. Robot Companion, don't really want that. Yeah, why not? Get these bits. Doesn't matter if I accidentally claim something that I don't want, I can always just, you know, not use it, so... Ah! Don't want that, though. Dang it! Okay, so let's just go down here. It should be alright now. I don't think there's any other ships. Oh, there is. There's the Golden Vector, isn't there? Be careful not to accidentally hit that. Oh, we don't need that, either. Loads of new flags, cool. Don't really want the quad pet either. Would look a bit weird riding around on a robot, wouldn't it? Oh, the sandworm egg. So there you go, Ricey and Cynical. If you do want a flyer, they fly. I don't know if they fly as good as the actual birds because they're super fast. But yeah, why not? Give them a go. No, I don't really need the fireworks. Ah, oh, these are the bits I want. That's the thing I really want, Bio Lantern. I think those, those will look quite in keeping. You know, that's a natural form of light for your base. So that's definitely one that I wanted. Okay, don't really need that. There's the Golden Vector. Must be getting near to the end now. There we go, people. I think that's pretty much everything that I needed from him. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, cool. Now let's go into Quicksilver items. Available. I'll get that then. I haven't got any Quicksilver for that, but we might as well get all these as well. Right, it's going to take me a while to go through all of this and get everything that I'm allowed to have, but I think you get the general idea. I just... I'll just finish this off, and then I'll show you what I do at the end. And there's the fireplace! Heck yes, we definitely want the fireplace. Lovely. There's also those coral plants in here that light up and stuff, which are pretty cool. There's those that light up too, that give natural light-looking things. Don't really need these, but we'll grab them anyway. They give light, they give light, they give light. Again, all good for putting inside of your base. All these are pretty good things, to be fair. So there's a lot of good stuff inside of this list. I'm nearly at the end. I'm not going to bother about those titles. All those titles. Let's just move on. Nearly there. Nearly done. That's my favourite backpack. But I'm, I think I'm better with a cape. There we go. Cool. Oh, I thought I was nearly done. We've got even more to ah, get. Ah, look. We get these visages as well. I think I might change my look and appearance to that one. Because he looks a little bit more like No Fire Esque, doesn't he? Now, you know what? I'll just keep what I've got. But yeah, that would have been lovely to have started out with Hesperus. But I, I've got, I kind of got attached to my little alien guy now. I think he looks quite cool. It was like a variant of like Piccolo or something from Dragon Ball Z. So these are the light up plants. Well, that's one of them anyway. The Rock Garden. I really like the little light on that. That lights up really nice. I'm going to be putting one of those inside my base if I can. And there we go, we get a load of um, heroic poses and emotes. That's the one that I, I think Professor Cynical used, or this one, as a table. He turned it up the other way and turned it into a table. Freaking great idea. Okay, cool. So we, we get in there. Get in there, and that adds a lot of light inside of your base as well. Oh, my days. Okay, I, I had no idea there was this much inside of the Quicksilver store. 
It's insane. Look at it all. Look at it all. It's it. It's mental. Oh my days. It's a shame there isn't like a, a collect all button right now. You know why we've got all items up here? It'd be nice if there was collect all. And you could just collect every. Oh, there we go. We got to the bottom of the list. That is going to go mental at the, at the top of. Just there. For like time now. Okay. Alright, well, here we go. Let's head on over this way then. Let's go straight into here. Looks like I have accidentally picked up a pet or two, maybe. I don't know what pets I've picked up. What have I got? Robotics. I'll just delete it. And what's this one? Lilias. Well, I don't have no, I have no idea what that, that is. I'll get rid of that as well. Okay, cool. Alright, there we are. I haven't got anything I shouldn't have. Now let's just jump in through this portal then. And let's head straight back to my base. There we go. Your base is... I've only got the one. I'm just going to teleport straight back to my base. There we go. I've done everything inside of the Nexus that I needed to do. I'm not going to go there again. So people in the viewerverse, if you hit up the creative method that I showed in episode 000, the video up there, you're allowed to do this as one extra addition. Go there, get what you need from the Quicksilver store. Jobs are, your jobs are good. If you haven't unlocked everything in the Quicksilver store, you might want to log into your legacy save, unlock everything you want for this build, then go to your creative save, go up there. Because you should be able to claim everything you've already unlocked, like I just did. Cool. I'm back at my base. I've got all these extra parts. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it lovely? Heck, yes, it is. And now this is going to happen for the next, like, 20 minutes. So I'll reconvene in a bit of time. Okay, chums. I mean, at the moment, this board that I've got, and this wasn't through the Quicksilver store. It's got the little fireflies around it anyway. It gives a little bit of luminosity. I also found these banners. They're, they've also got lights built into them, which give like a little bit of ambient light. But now that I have got that little jar with the fireflies in, and I've got my own fireplace, so I can put my fireplace somewhere. Let's, uh, let's stick my little fireplace here. That's going to give a little bit of ambient lighting, isn't it? Very freaking lovely, if I don't say so myself. And where's my little jar of fireflies? Oh, I've got the flaming barrels as well now. I can have my chimney, people. Lovely. Okay. Well, I'll probably put the chimney above where the fireplace is. Let's just keep it real. Huh? Okay, well, there's the other two jars. Where's the freaking jar with the fireflies in? I wish there was a search feature on this so you can actually search for the dang things. You know what I mean? There's quite a lot of menus now. We've got quite a lot of base parts. So give us a blinking search feature. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It's not in there either, is it? I've probably gone past it, you know. Probably gone past. There it is. I was on it. Okay, bio lantern. Okay, well, I'm going to stick one. Oh, I need glass for it. Dang it! Okay, well, I do know how to make glass. Um, let's just pop out to the refiner quickly. Just this one over here. That'll do me. Put a little bit of fuel in. Just half would do. And then if I put in some silicate powder. Oh, look. I can only make one. Budging heck. That's a lot. Oh. Okay, still got 33 left. All right, fine. Thank you. Lovely jubbly. Let's go back in. And, um, yeah, I get my little lantern. Now, this you can actually scale. You can make it a bit larger. So, you can make it a bit larger. So, just so I get a little bit more light, I guess. But I don't know whether that looks in keeping. But, actually, let's, let's, let's put it about that sort of size. There we go. And there you go. I've got my own little mini light orb there. And, I, of course, I could put more in here. But I need more glass. I mean, I could have some here, to be fair. Maybe put a few chairs in here to look out at my little mini vista watch the wildlife that's quite a lovely view for example isn't it with a little pond yeah but i've got, have got this mezzanine out here too and i wouldn't mind putting a little bio lamp in the center of there so i've still got work to do people what i did do though is i got a load of um cobalt the other day so i should be able to put my multi-tool rack on the wall let's, uh, let's see if i can yes i can so i got that while i was out gallivanting now, something that's sort of behind this wall, I mean, I like that anyway, because it's also got tube lights in it. But if I go over here, look, I can interact with my storage container and I've labelled it treasure tre chest. I want to see if other players can put things that they've dug up or found inside of here. So when we run quests, I'm hoping people can put them there. And if they can't put them there, 
I'm hoping that they can access my refiners and put the things they find here. And then I can come along, take it out of here and put it into this repository over here, into my giant treasure chest. And then we can work out how much our faction has managed to gain in loot. And if it does work, I'd encourage Cynical and Ricey to do the same. And then we can keep a tally of, of what's happening, you know. So there we go. Right, anyway, people, that's everything for this episode. It was just me showing you that I did sort of use the Nexus just that one time, people. So, yeah, if you want to do that, be sure to do it. Until next time, bye goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us. I have a super member who has backed my channel for almost three years. That chum's name is Alan Dale. Thank you, Alan. You rock. Thank you from Captain Steve. Thank you for all your support and comments. Always a joy to see you in the comments section. And thank you everyone for watching this video. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Thank you everyone for watching this video goodbye goodbye and goodbye again and thank you everyone for watching this video goodbye goodbye and goodbye